today's lecture is we are going to write down the algorithm for the hungarian method so algorithm for hungarian method right so algorithm for hungarian uh, method so if you uh, know remember what we did that uh, you know first uh, thing that we did was row and column reduction right so we started with the row reduction we identified the minimum value uh, from each row and subtracted that minimum value from each of the other you know by each of the entries from that particular row so we'll be you know uh, dividing this uh, in two phases so phase 1 algorithm uh, phase 1 and we'll be writing it as row and column reduction see okay row and column reduction so here in phase 1 we have our step 1 which is called as the row reduction so what we did was subtract the minimum value of each row from the entries of that row right so we did this particular step and again the rows that we selected was from top we started from top and we went till bottom all right so this was the step one and it is called as the row reduction then we went for you no know, column reduction right so what we did was you know subtract the minimum value of each column from the entries of that column right so this was your you know uh, this was your column reduction step and we started from the left column and then we moved towards the right column right so now after you know what is you know that they only have to do what is the you know significance of row reduction after you do the row reduction there will be at least one zero in every row when you do the column reduction there will be at least one zero in every column so these two steps are very very important you know and uh, after that only your problem is ready for the optimize on no, optimization right so first we are preparing the problem for optimization the given problem for the optimization so in phase 1 we have did the row and column reduction right so phase 2 that we did was nothing but the row scanning and the column scanning right if you remember so phase 2 is you no know, but is the optimization of the problem right optimization of the problem or you can say the optimization procedure right so uh, what you did was you no know, step 1 we did our step 1 and what is the step 1 you no know, draw a minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros to cover all zeros in the matrix right so this is our step 1 and to achieve this step 1 what we have did was the row scanning and the column scanning so what we did in row scanning uh what we did in row scanning if you remember we will be starting from the first row so start from first row first row then you will be asking you know the question if there is only one zero in a, in that particular row so you no know, check if there is one zero if s yes, put square around that zero around zero around that zero and draw a vertical line na this is very very important you have to draw a vertical line else if your answer is no if yes then we are going to you no know, follow this else you now what we are going to do skip that row else skip the row else skip the row and we'll be moving towards the next row Uh, and we will be writing here attend all the rows in the similar fashion we are going to attend all the rows so here 
very important is that if there is yes the if the answer comes yes then only we are going to put a you know square around that zero and we are going to draw a vertical line this is also very very important and draw a vertical line and if uh, if the answer comes uh, no uh, no we are going to skip that row and in same format we are going to attend all the rows right so no no very important is that now after attending the last row what we are going to do no after attending the last row no after let me write here after attending last row what you are going to check is check whether all the zeros are cancelled check if all zeros are cancelled right if the all zeros are no not uh, if all the zeros are cancelled you can directly go to step 2 no if yes go to step 2 and if the answer is no else do column scan right if all the zeros are covered with the line there is no need of column scanning only row scanning is sufficient but if all the zeros are not you know uh, getting cancelled then we'll have to move for the column scan so the next step is what next step is your you no know, uh, we'll have to uh, the uh, let's take a you no know, call that if all the zeros are not can, uh, cancelled so you no know, we'll have to go for the column scanning and what we do normally is column scanning same way what we have seen so you no know, starting from the first column you no know, we can say start from first column so we'll be starting from first uh, column no we'll be checking if check if there is 10 in that column if yes put a square and draw a very important draw a horizontal line horizontal line else skip the column in the similar fashion attain all the columns right in the same fashion will be attending all the columns in similar fashion now we'll have to check you know uh, here also after attending the last column check uh, whether all zeros are cancelled check whether all zero cancelled if yes go to if yes go to step 2 go to step 2 go to step 2 and if you know uh, you know uh, else what will have to do else again perform row scan again you no know, we will have to in this step we will have to cancel all the zeros then only we can move ahead so if in column scanning all the zeros are not getting cancelled else again move to again perform row scanning and there's a procedure will repeat after row scanning again you will be checking for the column scanning and likewise so when we will be solving the numerical you will be getting that but as of now remember you know uh, how it is going to proceed right so we were talking about the step 2 so what happens in the step 2 is what you know we are going to check you know we are we are going to check in what is your next in phase 2 what is your step 2 step to us check whether number of squares that you have marked is equal to number of rows or columns right if your uh, number of squares is equal to the number of rows or columns so i'll be writing you know, here or columns columns if you know if the answer is yes if the answer is yes if yes go to step 5 you know go to step 5 that means that you have got the answer you have got the optimal solution and if you know no it is not matching else go to step 3 so we are going to understand what happens in step 3 
so now when step 3 we have already seen no uh, you know step 3 what will happen you are going to identify the cell with cell with minimum value amongst the undeleted cell up amongst the undeleted cell so from all the undeleted cells we are going to identify the cell with a minimum uh, value and we are going to move ahead so what we are going to do with this we are going to add the minimum value minimum value at the intersections at the intersections of lines and the next is what we are going to subtract it subtract the minimum value from all undeleted cells from all undeleted cells and all other deleted cells will remain same all other cells remain same step 4 will be what step 4 will be now your perform again no perform row scanning and column scanning that is we are going to repeat your step 1 repeat step 1 that is only the case repeat the step 1 step 1 is nothing but your perform row scanning and column scanning and what was your step 5 here the optimal treat the obtained solution treat the obtained solution as optimal solution and extract the answer right so in step 4 also now you can't only write perform row scanning and column scanning you have to repeat step 1 here again and step 1 and step 2 also you have to repeat then only you will be moving towards the you no know, you will be deciding whether to go for step 5 or whether to go for step 3 so this is now how the algorithm is of this particular process will be you no know, uh, followed i will be sharing the pdf copy of this as well so uh, regarding what is you know uh, what is the uh, algorithm for the hungarian method we have to remember what is the procedure and that particular procedure will help you out to you know uh, to understand the algorithm as well as to solve the numerical as well so you now uh, 